Hello, I'm working on the flesh tones of my angel's face and I'm coming to the final stages now so I'm just refining areas, smoothing areas, getting the correct um, tones and shades of that face done. So do a little bit of work now so I'll get some paint on my brush let's come in a bit more so I'm just smoothing in the areas really with this brush so I've got a little bit of paint on there just work on this now so some of these um, Areas need a bit of smoothing. So, so this blue round here, I'll just this this area in particular, let's go in a bit closer. And here, just needs to be made a little smoother. So I'll work on that. Also, if we just come up here, you can see this area here. I'll need to come over this and smooth. It's almost like a like a glaze. Um, I'm, I'm polishing the colours, making them blend much better together. And that's the process I'm going to be doing now on the face. And there's quite a bit to do. You know, we look underneath the chin and the neck area here. So I've got bits of bits of blue here and brown there. So I'm going to mix these together, get a darker shadow nearer where the chin meets the neck, and then gradually blend this out. So the cast shadow gets lighter the further away it is from the chin and obviously it's darker the closer it is to the chin to show that that's where the chin comes over the neck. So I'm just working on the final stages of the angel painting and I'm using oil paints. So let's have a look at the mixing palette now. So this is my mixing palette and we can see the flesh tones here and to create these flesh tones I've, I've mixed um, three paints, well four paints actually. Let's have a look at those paints. So I've got a whole collection here and a very key paint in this is a burnt sienna. So burnt sienna is very important for flesh tones. So burnt sienna, I've also used cadmium yellow, it's a, a pale, cadmium yellow pale, and cadmium red. Now you can use different combinations, um, but it's very good to have um, a red a yellow and the burnt sienna. Um, those three are very good. And when you do mix them, you get um, a darker colour. So then you have to bring in titanium white. I use titanium white as well. And obviously, the more titanium white you put in, the um, paler the mixture is. So those are the three colours there to, to mix to get the flesh tones plus the white. Now, so this is, so what I do first of all, I place my paints, there's a red, there's a yellow, um, here we've got the burnt sienna, and then I bring in other colours too, and I've got, I use two blues, um, especially for the angel painting, I've been using two blues, one's this phyllo blue, it's a beautiful blue, and also I use ultramarine and what these do they give um, blue shades to the to the flesh tints and also I use browns as well um, so I've got a burnt burnt umber and I've been using this this oxide brown as well but you know for your flesh tones if you just have your burnt sienna 
cadmium yellow and cadmium red um, for instance that does great and use your titanium white and then you can use ultramarine blue and also your burnt umber that using those you can you can create lots of different um, tones and shades of the flesh tints so I, I would I would mix on the palette here and also I use uh, different mediums as well let's just have a quick look at those I've got some purified linseed oil and also I use um, some thinners um, so you can use low order thinners like this sandstone Make sure it's low order. Can you see that low order? The reason is that obviously the smell won't make you feel dizzy. <laughs> so it's quite safe to use and to use a little mixing pot to put in there. And and the thinners obviously thin the paint and also clean your brushes with them. And whereas the linseed oil you get you can get a it helps get us um, a real flow to the paint and you can get a lovely transparent transparency um, to that paint as well. So there you go, those are my flesh colours for there. And you can see this little mixture here, let's go in a bit. So I've used some of the blue, this blue here. I'll put a bit down there and then I brought a little bit of a mixture in and you can see it's this sort of almost like a, a greeny grey um, blue tint of flesh there. So that's what you do, you know, you mix on here, but also you can mix actually on your painting surface as well. So there we go, those are the colours. Thank you for watching this film. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll be able to see many more films like this and also ones on poetry, my artwork, um, storytelling and pilgrimages. Thank you.